Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Tim Carrico here. It'll be another hot one today. The to call for 94 degrees in October. In the If you want to see more on the assembly of this guitar right here, like and subscribe and you'll get it. Ah. Well, as you can see, I finished up the the form. It is um, actually eight pieces of three quarter inch plywood glued and screwed together. I put a hinge at one end and a clasp at the other end. Just to make it easier in future builds. Each piece is individually routed. I carved out, sanded the first piece to match the uh, HD28 that Martin made. And then I used that as uh, my router guide. I went ahead and cut each, or cut the other seven pieces with a jigsaw close to the line. Then use the router to finish it and it come out perfect. So the way the sides are exactly 90 degrees <clears throat> to each other worked out well. As you can tell I've mitered the corners 45 degrees so that it fits on my go bar table jig that I made up. Then I marked the center line. So that I can put the sides in there and trim the ends off of the uh, pre-bent sides from Martin. Uh, to make sure that um, you get your ends cut to 90 degrees, you need to determine which end is top because the back always has a bevel in it. It is thinner on that end than it is on the than it is on the bottom. And you can see I've already trimmed this one down. Both ends. And I just use a 90 degree square after I marked it and cut it off using the um, razor saw, I guess they call it. Here you can see the tail piece and the dovetail neck stock piece. It is going to have to be trimmed. They send it to you about an eighth inch oversized uh, because it has to be trimmed at an angle. So the easiest thing is to mark, scribe this side first, then put a straight edge across your pieces. Scribe underneath that on the block up in here. Then take it out and scribe a line across the two sides. Here we are gluing in the cross strips here to help prevent the rosewood, Indian rosewood sides from splitting. That's one nice thing about using these metal go bars is that like these two here I trim them down so it would be too much pressure on the sides uh, just with a pair of wire cutters and they work really well. Um, the four back ones here are just these craft sticks 
I got from a hobby store or whatever. And then the um, the ones that you can see from the sound pole up here, I'm going to use these. Get this focused in here. For the, I'm going to put one of these um, mahogany veneer strips here and here and here and here uh, because they, those will be able to be seen from the sound hole so they'll still work they're plenty strong enough they're also lightweight so it should it help improve the tone in the instruction manual it comes with a kit it describes uh, gluing the top to the rim first and some of the videos I've watched on YouTube um, they like to put the back on first because it facilitates easier cleaning up the uh, glue joints that will be seen through the sound hole which I sort of agree on so what I've done is I've fitted the top to the rim I've also fitted the back it took me a good day probably six eight hours um, to make sure that everything fit tight and everything was flush um, as far as the uh, ribs and the uh, ribbon so I've got it fitted in got my center lines lined up and I'm gluing everything together there in the jig so that it keeps the the rims the sides perfectly perpendicular <clears throat> and I've went and uh, created I don't know about 20 more of the go bars which I had to cut off about four inches off of these because I'm compensating for the thickness of the rims the sides of the guitar so uh, another thing that I haven't discussed is the steel go bars that I'm using um, are originally for the uh, insulation hangers and the ends are sharpened and if you clip off maybe like eighth inch off the end off of each end um, that you're going to have the rubber tips going into that'll save your rubber tips longer probably if you sanded them around but you know that's a lot of work for a effort I think the tips were like six dollars for a hundred of them so there we go I'll keep going <laughs> 